Hey, it's Tori Levine here from Mommy Bar, and I have a little exercise workout for you today, which you can do anywhere. Today I'm doing it with while my face mask is drying. So we're going to first do some diaphragmatic breathing, and if you need a refresher, I can um, you can click on this link here. But you're going to inhale, expand your belly button out, and exhale, squeeze that in towards your spine at the same time as you're doing that kegel or pelvic floor contraction. And you're just gonna breathe in and out like this for about 10 times. Each time you inhale, expand. Exhale, squeeze up and in. Inhale, exhale here. Now we're going to hold that squeeze for 10 seconds. Good, and release. Take a nice inhale. Exhale again. Squeeze. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here's another view for you where you're going to inhale, expand out, exhale, squeeze, and lift up from that pelvic floor, feeling like you're zipping all the way up to your rib cage. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, and lift. And I like to do this in sets of 10. So 10 inhale and exhales, just doing those contractions each time as you exhale. And then sets of uh, counting to 10 where you hold that squeeze for 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, good. Relax. Expand and squeeze again. See how your belt, that belly button lifts up? You want to feel that. Keep that lifted. You can breathe throughout this, but you want to keep that contraction of your pelvic floor and core. Okay, this time I want you to really prepare. Get that squeeze. We're going to hold for 20 seconds. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, now we're going to move on to some exercises here, which you're going to want to keep that core and pelvic floor engaged. I don't want your hips to tuck under. You want to have your shoulders over your hips, over your knees. And we're just going to do some squats or plies. You want to kind of stick your butt way out. And each time you bend down, you'll inhale, exhale, squeeze from your glutes, pelvic floor, and your belly button into your spine, all the way up to a nice standing neutral position. Good, so we're going to do 10 there. And we don't want that belly button sticking out. We want to have that core pulled in nice and tight the entire time. So we're going to do 10 more here. We're going to keep that core contracted and pelvic floor contracted, squeezed in. Inhale, exhale, squeeze all the way up. And when you're up, you can inhale, exhale, squeeze all the way up. Good, we're gonna do another set of 10 here. Okay, now we are going to get into a teeny tiny little plie where I'm going to have you face your knees and your toes out a little bit and we're going to do some hip isolations and contractions to really work that lower core and pelvic floor. So you're going to engage like you did in the beginning and you're just going to push one hip out to the side and then switch to the other side. You want to keep that core contracted the entire time. 
while you still are breathing. And you're gonna feel that nice little burn in your lower abs. Good, now we're gonna do some circles, hip circles. So we're gonna do 10 each way. And you really, you don't wanna just feel like you're doing the hula hoop. What you wanna do is really slow and controlled motion, tucking your tailbone under, going out to the side, around to the back, and back out to the other side. And this is the only time I really like to let my clients tuck their tailbone. Good, now after 10, you're gonna reverse and go 10 towards the other direction. Keep on breathing, keep that pelvic floor and that core engaged. And I like to exhale each time your hips come forward. Okay, we're gonna do some little pelvic tilts or contract core contractions. And this is the only type of crunch I basically tell that my clients that they can be doing. You're going to have your shoulders over top of your hips, knees slightly bent, just like they were already. I just turned to show you a little bit more of the movement. You're gonna inhale, and as you exhale, I want you to feel like you're belly button is pulling so far to your spine and your pelvic floor is contracting so much that your pelvis has to just tilt under slightly. So inhale, exhale, squeeze, and you're going to do that little tilt. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, and that little tilt there. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, that little tilt. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. And here again, I like to do sets of 10 to 20. All right. Now we're just going to do one of my other favorite exercises that really warms up your core. And you can feel that core engaged in that pelvic floor. It's just marches. And the important thing here is what you're going to do is, like you did in the beginning, maintaining that core contraction and that pelvic floor being lifted, feeling like you have a string or a zipper all the way down from your pelvic floor, zipping everything up all the way up to your ribs. And I like to add in a little opposite arm, opposite leg. Helps with your coordination. All right, and I like to just stop in between if I feel like I'm not getting that contraction and just do a few of those diaphragmatic breathing exercises where you inhale, exhale, squeeze and lift just to recenter myself. Before I start doing more marches. All right, so that's the end of our quick little exercises you can do anywhere. What I like to do when I'm waiting for my face mask to dry. So thanks for joining me. Uh, I'll see you next time at the bar. You can sign up for sessions on the Work With Me tab on our website. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notifications every time we post a new video. Make sure you check out some of our playlists and other videos for great tips prenatal and postnatal. All right, see you at the bar.